Replicas is a Keanu Reeves movie coming out on August 24th. It's rated PG-13. It has an estimated $30 million budget. The movie actually originally premiered back in September of last year at the Toronto International Film Festival, but now it's finally getting a wide release. It's directed by Jeffrey Nakamoff. Uh, he directed Traitor, which got a 7.0 on IMDb, starring Don Cheadle. The Day After Tomorrow, which got a 6.4, starring Dennis Quaid and Jake Gyllenhaal. And The Tourist, starring Johnny Depp and Angelina Jolie. Replicas is written by Chad St. John, who wrote London Has Fallen and Punisher Dirty Laundry. Now, Punisher Dirty Laundry is a short with Thomas Jane. It's like 10, 12 minutes long, and it is... It is fantastic. Uh, I might be biased because, like I said earlier, I love Thomas Jane as the Punisher. But this is, it's really well done. The effects are YouTube quality, but you get past that and it's its really good. And Stephen Hamill helped come up with a story. He is a producer of Passengers and John Wick. Like I said earlier, this movie is starring Keanu Reeves, who is the star of the Matrix films, the John Wick films the Bill and Ted movies, he has a ton of movies that are generally like a solid base hit. Like they're, they're rarely great, but they're always a good time. Now, Replicas, based on the trailer, this premise feels a little stale. It looks like the love child of Black Mirror and iRobot. There's doesn't feel like there's much new or anything that's going to be explored that hasn't already been explored and probably in better ways. I mean, Black Mirror is great. If you haven't watched Black Mirror, you should definitely check it out. It's on Netflix. There's like three seasons, maybe four seasons in all, almost all of their episodes. I would say 80% of their episodes are fantastic. The other ones are good, just not as great. And they really explore these ideas of what technology can do and is doing and how it's detrimental to us, which I feel like Replicas is trying to do, but it seems to get a little lost with the action adventure side of things where you have a killer robot potentially on the loose and people trying to hunt them down, them off running around. I, I don't know. The, the story concept seems to get lost in the action. There's a lot of matrix imagery in the trailer. I don't I assume that's intentional to try to bring up some of that familiarity of the story. I mean, you have Keanu Reeves already and so you'll kind of you by by putting that imagery in it, you kind of get an extra step ahead of just people's love for those movies coming into this and I just it feels like a cheap trick as well as killing off the family. You kill the family off and you trick the audience into thinking there's depth because the main character is struggling with that. But it, it's really lack of character development is generally what happens when you use that as the device to build empathy for your care. And honestly, I have a hard time believing Keanu Reeves as a scientist, as someone who could figure all this out. It's nothing personal against Keanu Reeves. It's really just his voice and his cadence that just doesn't seem to fit. And obviously that doesn't matter. You can be whatever you want with no matter how you talk. But when you're talking about movies, there's kind of things that are supposed to be. I don't know. Maybe I'm part of the issue. Maybe my expectation is part of the problem with movies and why we have so many stereotypes. But it just doesn't fit for me uh, in my head. But I'll probably, if if this comes up on Netflix, if I see it and I got free time, I'll probably check it out. I'll give it a good, you know, 10, 20 minutes and see how it goes. And if I get interested, I'll finish it. But it's it's going to kind of have to be one of those times where I don't have anything else going on for me to actually watch this. But I'd love to know what you think. Are you going to see it? Have you seen it? What's your opinion?